You've already seen how to restore backups of databases and then how to attach database files. So for this assignment, you should have already downloaded the AdventureWorks 2014 database. I want you to go and create a query to retrieve information about that database. If you look in my SQL Server Management Studio, you'll see that I've already installed AdventureWorks 2014. If I want to create a new query, I just click New Query. And then I want you to paste in the following or type in the following information. Use AdventureWorks 2014 semicolon. In SQL, the use statement tells the system which database you want to work with. If you don't want to worry about the use statement, you can actually come up to this list, list box right here and just choose whichever database you want the SQL statements to execute against. If you don't want to worry about that, then you make sure that you have a use statement telling the system we want to use this database to do this SQL statement. This SQL statement says use the AdventureWorks 2014 database and go select all of the information from something called information schema dot tables. Information schema is a database object. Tables says return the table names or table information. So if I run that, we'll see that within the AdventureWorks database we have the following tables that we can look at. And we could actually, there's the schema, but here's the actual table name, you could actually get even more information about a database. Remember earlier in the class, we talked about the system database. In the system database, there's a master database and, a ma and tables within that. This stores information about all of your databases that are out there. So for this assignment, you're going to create this query, type in these SQL statements, and then I want you to grab all of these results. You'll copy them, paste that into a Word document, and upload that Word document to Learning Suite.